Hey songwriters and welcome to episode number three in our 12 week series called GarageBand 101, where we're really diving into GarageBand and learning how to use its powerful tools to aid our songwriting process. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about another huge feature that GarageBand offers, and that is the Session Drummer. We'll discuss why this feature is so powerful for you as a songwriter, and then dive right into a video tutorial showing you how to use the GarageBand Session Drummer. So if you're a songwriter who doesn't play the drums, then I'm telling you, you can't miss this episode because it's going to blow your mind. For most of us as songwriters, we've learned a primary instrument to accompany our singing, like guitar. Then many of us have picked up another instrument like piano. And maybe some of you, like me, have even picked up a few more instruments like bass or ukulele. But for most of us, the number one instrument that we can't play, or at least we can't play it very well, is the drums. And that presents us with a pretty big problem because one of the key elements to making a moving, memorable song is the drums, the beat, the rhythm section. So if we can't play the drums, then every song we write is gonna be missing a key ingredient, and that's rhythm. And that's why I'm so excited to tell you about the GarageBand Session Drummer and to show you how to use it in your projects. What if I told you that you have more than 30 session drummers, each with their own unique style and flavor, who are ready and waiting to create drum performances tailor-made to your song? Well, that, my friends, is exactly what the GarageBand Session Drummer feature gives you, and this is so exciting! Woo! So without further ado, let's dive into our video tutorial for today where I'm gonna show you how to use the Session Drummer and all of its awesome features. In short, the Session Drummer feature offers you a library of different mock drummers who will make up beats to fit your song. And once they give you a beat, you can adjust their performance any way you want to. Let's dive in. If you remember from our first video, we were working on a smash hit called This Is My First Song in GarageBand, in which I created the drum part myself using the typing keyboard. So let's take another quick listen to it to get a feel for what I played, and then we'll look at the GarageBand Session Drummer. This is my first song in GarageBand mm -mm, And I'm excited now There we go. It's simple, I like it, but let's see what the GarageBand Session Drummer has to offer. So I'm gonna go over here, mute out my current drum track, and create a new track, and select the GarageBand Session Drummer. As it says, it's gonna add drums that automatically play with my song. Simply hit Create, and boom, look at that. For our purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and delete one of these drum regions. We can always copy and paste more later. And I'm gonna drag and trim this drum region to fit the section of the song we're currently working on. Then, just to make it easy, I'm gonna go ahead and drag this track to the bottom of our screen. Now we are ready to work. So I'm gonna come down here, click on the Genre tab, and check this out. You get to choose from several different drummers in several different genres. This song is more singer-songwriter than anything, so I'm gonna choose the Songwriter option. Now I can choose from five different drummers who all have a different style and a different feel. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Darcy here. I also like to call him Mr. Darcy. To help us find the right beat for our song, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the loop region and then come down here and look through a few presets that Darcy offers us. This is my first song in garage. So maybe not that one so much. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited now. This is my first song in garage. I actually really like that one. I'm excited now. This is my first song in GarageBand. Mm -hmm. This one's a lot like I had I'm in the beginning. Now. This is my first song. This one has some in energy to it, maybe for a pre-chorus. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited now. This is my We could even try a different drummer in a different genre. This is my first song.
so maybe an electronic drummer like Leah doesn't work so much for this song, but she certainly works well for a song like this. If you're a songwriter like me who doesn't play the drums, you should be getting really excited right now. But if you're still not convinced, let's look at a couple other drummers and a couple more genres. Like our boy Benny here. I'm gonna solo out the drum track so you can hear the rich tone in his drum set. Let me go. Benny has a real soulful style and he plays on a really rich sounding kit. If you're playing a rock song, you might want a drummer who's a little more aggressive like Kyle. So before we close out this video, I want to show you some of the fine-tuned adjustment features that the session drummer offers you to help you really get that drum performance exactly where you want it and to really tailor it to fit your song. So you've probably noticed that there's a few more windows to work with when you're in session drummer mode. The first window to note is the dynamics adjuster. This simply means that we can adjust the dynamics of a performance. Do you want it loud and powerful? Do you want a softer feel? Go for it. Do you want something that's more complex and has lots of fills? Well, we can do that. Do you want something that's just simple and straightforward? Well, you can do it. And you can do anything in between. The next work window to note is the drum kit itself. This is where you can decide which parts of the drum kit you want to keep in or that you want to take out. The next thing to note is the pattern variation slider. You can choose between several different kick and snare patterns, including a double time option, which speeds things up, as well as a half time option to really change up the pace of your song and give it a different feel. Next is the fills knob. This is where you can tell the drummer how many little extras and bells and whistles you want to go in the drum performance, or where you can tell him to tone it down and just to keep it simple. There's also a swing knob down here if you have a song with a bit of a swing to it and you want to add some swing to your drum beat as well. So you're starting to get an idea of how powerful this tool really is. Through the GarageBand Session Drummer, you now have several drummers with awesome beats that you get to pick and choose from and really tailor to your song. Well guys, I don't think there is really anything else to say about the GarageBand Session Drummer other than it rocks. Woo! So since you're just sitting there staring at me like a bump on a log, I'm gonna take a moment here to celebrate for you. He got the session drama. 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 But seriously, I hope you really are getting excited about using a tool like the GarageBand Session Drummer. I know I was really excited the first time I discovered it. Now, is it gonna take some time to grow in hearing what beat or what feel might be best for your song? Absolutely, but I promise you, the more that you practice, you really will become better and better at hearing and creating performances that really fit your songs. All right, let's wrap this thing up. To keep up with weekly content from here at the Songwriting Studio, simply go to thesongwritingstudio.com and enter your email address. This is Dean from the Songwriting Studio. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode and I will catch you next week.